Hello, everyone. Suana Shark here, continuing with the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And uh, in this video, we are on lesson 182. And the lesson is, I will be still an instant and go home. It says, this world you seem to live in is not home to you. And somewhere in your mind, you know that this is true. A memory of home keeps haunting you as if there were a place that called you to return. Although you do not recognize the voice. That's the voice of the Holy Spirit nor what it is that the voice reminds you of. You still, yet still you feel an alien here, here in this world from somewhere all unknown. Nothing so definite that you could say with certainty you are in, ex in exile here. Just a persistent feeling sometimes not more than a tiny throb, at other times hardly remembered, actively dismissed, but surely to return to your mind again. No one but knows whereof we speak. We don't know that from our egoic mind. Yet, some of us try to put by or deny Deny there are our suffering games. The games that they play to occupy, occupy their time and keep their sadness from them. So these, you know, they're suffering in games, the games we, you know, the story that we keep uh, playing out, that game in our story or the story of our game, you know, it, it, it or the victimhood. That's what it refers to in terms of suffering in games. It's all, again, playing out the ego in this illusory world. And again, it says to keep our, 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 um, our sadness. We play all that out and we keep our sadness from ourselves. We're covering it up. It says others will deny that they are sad and do not recognize their tears at all. It's like the denial of fear. Still others will maintain that what we speak of is illusion, not to be considered more than but a dream. That's what is referring to what we're you know, speaking of in the course here. Yet who in simple honesty, without defensiveness and self-deception would deny he understands the words we speak. So this defensiveness here, you know, we actually look at it. We actually value our defenses because it keeps us. We keep defending that we're right. And really at a deep level, the course has is, um, in the text and, and throughout the lessons as well, it's showing us that we have a deep fear, deep fear of love and a deep fear of God. And these defenses, they... You know, and being defenses, defensive rather, also keep us from love. They are the blocks to love. And this is what we keep playing out. So we speak today for everyone who walks this world, for he is not at home. Any of us in this world, in this body, are not at home. And remember, we're not a body. He goes uncertainly uncertainly about an endless search. Aren't we endlessly searching? And we're seeking in darkness what he cannot find, what we cannot find, not recognizing what it is that he seeks. We don't even, we don't even know really what we're seeking. A thousand homes he makes, yet none contents his restless mind. How content are you? And, 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 you know, there's so much restlessness, particularly in the world. He said, he us, does not understand he builds in vain. 
The home he seeks cannot be made by him. And there's no substitute. There's no substitute for heaven. We keep looking for heaven here on earth. And it says all he ever made was hell. Again, the course references special relationships. And just, and again, they're all ego-based. And, you know, think how much value we put into those special relationships rather than a holy relationship that the course is defining for us, um, you know, as we're practicing here and studying the course. The holy relationship is based in love. Remember, the special relationship is based in ego. It says, perhaps you think it is your childhood home that you would find again, the childhood of your body. And its place of shelter are a memory now so distorted that you merely hold a picture of a past that never happened. Yet there is a child, a holy child in you who seeks his father, his father's house, who seeks God's house. And he knows that he is alien here. This holy child knows he's alien here. This childhood is eternal with an innocence that will endeavor forever. When this child or where this child should go is holy ground. It is his holiness that lights up heaven. It's your holiness that lights up heaven and that brings to earth the pure reflection of the light above, where in our earth and heaven joined as one. It is this child, this holy child in you, your father knows as his own son. It is his, this child, this holy child who knows his father. He desires to go home so deeply, so unceasingly, his voice cries onto you to let him rest a while. He does not ask for more than just a few instants of res respite. Just an, e an interval in which he can return to breathe again the holy air that fills his father's house. You are, you are his home as well. He will return but give him just a little time to be himself, this holy child of God, within the peace that is his home, resting in silence and in peace and in love. This holy child needs your protection. This holy child within needs his, your protection. He's far from home. He is so little that he seems so easily shut out his tiny voice so readily obscured, his call for help almost unheard amid the grating sounds and harsh and rasping noises of the world. Yet does he know that in you still abides his sure protection? You will fail him not. He will go home and you along with him. The Holy Child is your defenselessness, your strength, the strength of God. He trusts in you. He came because he knew that you would not fail. He whispers of his home unceasingly to you. But, you know, we need to be still an instant, which is, you know, to hear it. This is what this course or this lesson is bringing to us. Okay, again, he whispers of his home unceasingly to you, for he would bring you back with him, that he himself might stay and not re return again to where he does not belong in this world, that is, and where he lives an outcast in a world, a world of alien thoughts. His patience has no limits. He will wait. God will wait until you hear his gentle voice within you, calling you to let him go in peace along with you to where he is at home with you and with him. 
And again, when you are still an instant, when the world recedes from you, when you stop from, you know, from the craziness, the business of the world, you know, where it says when valueless ideas cease to have value in your restless mind, then you will hear his voice. You'll hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. So poignantly, he calls to you that you will not resist him longer. We need to be still enough to listen. In that instant, he will take you to his home and you will stay with him in perfect stillness, silent and at peace, beyond all words, untouched by fear and doubt, sublimely certain that you are at home. Rest with him, the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit frequently today. For he, had, he was willing to come a little child that you might learn of him. How strong is he who comes without defenses, offering only love's messages to those who think he is their enemy. He holds the might of heaven in his hand and calls them friend and gives his strength to them that they may see he would be friend to them. He asks that they protect him for his home is far away and he will not return it to it alone. Christ is reborn as but a little child each time a wanderer would leave his home. For he must learn that what he would protect is but his child, his holy child, who comes defenseless and who is protected by defenselessness. Is the lesson. Remember that. Back, I can't remember the number, but it says, in your defenselessness, or in my defenselessness, my safety lies. It says, go home with him from time to time today. Take that instant from time to time today. You are as much an alien here as he. Take time today to lay aside your shield, your shield of fear, that is, which profits nothing. And lay down the spear and sword you raised against an enemy without existence. Christ has called you friend and brother. He has even come to ask your help in letting him go home today. Completed and completely. He has come as does a little child who must beseech his father for protection and for love. He rules the universe, and yet he asks unceasingly that you return with him and take illusions as your gods no more. You have not lost your innocence. It is for this you yearn. This is your heart's desire. This is the voice you hear. And this, the call, you cannot deny. The holy child remains within you. His home is yours. Today, he gives you his defenselessness. And you accept it in exchange for all the toys of battle that you've made in this illusion and in this world. And now the way is open. And the journey has an end in sight at last. Be still an instant and go home with him and be at peace a while. So, you know, the course is really giving us the tools and, and the practices for us to, to learn to be more authentic because we are not being authentic in this egoic world, in our special relationships, which are all ego-based, you know, in our communications. Just look at all of that, where we're not being authentic. In order to be authentic in our relationships and in communication, remember this body is, is only a vehicle of communication. We're not this body. You know, but it takes within us a willingness. It takes defenselessness. It takes radical honesty and trust in God. It takes gratitude and also being responsible and accountable in our lives for our life. 
again, this, this course assists us in moving from a special relationship, which is all ego-based. You know, and remember the ego seeks to get. And, and again, it's moving us from a special relationship to a holy relationship, which, which the holy sh relationship is centered on love. It's centered on giving. And in that process, we learn that in giving that we receive. So it, it, again, it's about us surrendering and, and to know that with God, um, we find everything, everything we need in God. And, and our strength is in God. And there is no conflict in God. In the egoic thought system, there is conflict and judgment and confusion and defense and attack, victimhood. All of that is part of the ego. None of that is with God. God is love. And we're again, we're removing as we do these lessons from 181 through 200, we're learning what our blocks are and taking an instant. And here it says, this lesson is, I will be still an instant and go home. It's in that instant. You know, we're not going to be there in every instant. But the co course is offering us to take the morning or in the evening or and or somewhere in between just for an instant to stop. Quiet your mind. And in the quietness there is the opportunity to hear the voice for God. But while we are busy, 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 solving one conflict after another, one problem after another, reaching out there in the world for what we're not going to find, that's a constant block because we're too busy in the mind and we're too busy. I know in the practice of this course, and what I what I still work on, but have have really come a long way, is to recognize how much of my busyness, how driven I was in the world, and was not taking time to be still, even for an instant. But that is what I take on and practice today to the best of my ability to connect with the Holy Spirit, to connect with the God within. So that I may hear the voice for God. Okay, so excuse me, that's um, that is lesson 182. Again, I'll read it again. I will be still an instant and go home. And I, you know, wish you a, a day of finding a few instants to go home. And thank you always for being here. Again, we are going to be halfway through tomorrow. I thought it was, well, it could be today or tomorrow. We're just about there <laughs> and uh, through these lessons. And I, again, I want to thank you for being here for as many lessons as you, as you have. And if you've been here for the 182 lessons, thank you. Thank you. Together, we are healing. And as we heal, the world heals. As we heal, the world heals. And um, I appreciate you being with me through this, through my healing. All right. Please, uh, again, comment. Please share. Uh, and, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And um, Till the next video, which is for lesson 183. I think I made a mistake in the last video, but anyways, that's okay. I said 184, and I meant to say for today, 182. So today, for tomorrow, no, no, out of confusion. That's a lot of information there. But tomorrow, I'll be in lesson, uh, uh, the video will be on lesson 183. All right. Have uh, some of those moments, those instants today for yourself. You so deserve it. All right. Till then, from my heart to yours, I extend much love to you. Bye for now.